So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and then type in manage advanced sharing settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna make sure you're on public networks, you wanna turn on network discovery. Make sure that network discovery has been turned on. Now for the second step, you wanna head over to search again and type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on any service and then click on D on your keyboard. Then you wanna scroll down until you find DNS client. You wanna double click on it. You wanna make sure that the startup type is on automatic and then you wanna click on start, which will then make the service running. And then click on okay. And now for the third step, you wanna head over to search again and type in view network connections. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you just wanna take a note of your network adapter name. My one's called Intel R Pro. So now once you take a note of your name, you wanna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna expand network adapters. And then you wanna look for the same name. So my one's called Intel R Pro on both of these. So you wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure they have the best service for device installed. And now for the last step, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on other troubleshooters. And then next to network and internet, you wanna click on run. If it detects any problems, then it'll fix it for you. Now once you complete all these steps in the video, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.